right, last day of school. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. <laughs> so one of our traditions started years ago is that when the kids get home from the last day of school, we have a water balloon fight. So we had one of those. And then we went right into summer. We w headed to the Keys for our annual week trip and it landed on our anniversary week. So we had a wonderful week at the Keys and here's a look at it. Thank you, that was fast. So one of the things that we love to do is to take advantage of the amenities of the resort. So at this resort, we had a beautiful pool to swim in. The kids loved, loved that. We did that hours on end each day and they had a really good places to eat. We didn't eat out a lot. We only choose to eat out for dinner mostly. And one day we spent going to Pigeon Key. We stayed in Isla Meralda, but Pigeon Key is in Marathon. That's where we stayed last year. And it's so beautiful. It's such a good opportunity to, you know, read up and learn about Florida history. Also to see all of what the Keys has to offer. I mean, there's snorkeling there. It's pretty cost effective. And the kids love the little train ride over. So last year when we did this, we did the walk around tour with the tour guide and learned all about... Uh, how Pigeon Key was formed and the workers that lived there. And it was really informative and wonderful. This time we just did our own walk around tour, uh, kind of self guided because the kids really wanted to focus on snorkeling. Something else we need to know is that over there is this for snorkeling. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the one I was, yeah, there it is.
I think one of my favorite parts of the keys is that it really forces you to slow down. I mean, you could turn it into like this busy type of trip, but we really choose to just spend every day just kind of choosing a family activity and just taking it really slow. <laughs> I think that it really like after a busy school year and all of the things that you need to do, it was so nice to just start off our summer connected and really spending some time together. Of course, there were fights and there were bickerments and arguments and all of the things. I mean, if you've traveled with a family, you know what it entails to have a, you know, vacation with children and everything. But I don't know, I just choose to kind of focus on those happy moments and the wonderful memories that we've made. So once we were done snorkeling, um, we headed over to go feed the sharks and the eels and all of those little creatures. So this was really neat. I mean, it's just included when you go to Pigeon Key. If you go during a shark feeding time, you get unlimited until they run out of fish. Um, it was really cool. The kids loved it. Last year we did not make it for a shark feeding time and it was just so neat to watch them. And as you can see, like Archie was really getting adventurous and he was obsessed with feeding them. That's the inside, that's the mouth of the uh, urchin. urchin. So this was at Robbie's. We ate dinner and then we fed the tarpon. Oh my gosh, these tarpons were pretty large and they were hungry. I think that they're always hungry. And it was kind of cool. Someone was fishing at one point in the boat and they actually caught a tarpon. And it was fun to watch while we were eating.
They're not gonna go as far. Do you guys wanna go swim? You guys gotta be hot. Bye, sissy. See it? Look at it, Sean. That's a big one. I don't want him to fall in. Look at the move. Is there one in that show? Yes, there is. All right, you ready to head back, bud? Oh wow. You guys see that blue bird right there? It's still there. Whoa, birds. What's up girl? So one of the other things that we did this trip was we took a day trip to Key West. The drive wasn't that bad and we kind of had cloudy skies this day. So it was nice to kind of get away from the heat in Isla Miralda. It was still very hot in Key West, but this was a nice little break. We went into the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory. Absolutely beautiful, like such a spiritual feeling in this place I just it was so magnificent like if you are ever in Key West you have to go here it's really cool because once you buy a ticket you can go as many times as you want that day so we actually got to go twice and it was just beautiful wonderful 10 out of 10. Yes, but it's good. Yeah. 
And basically daily we did the kayaks from the resort. I mean, it's free. Why wouldn't you? So this was awesome. We actually paddled out to the island that you'll see over here. And it was so beautiful. We got to see some lemon sharks and some, you know, fishies and stingrays. And it was really fun. Uh, I mean, you know, anything with kids is always an event. And actually, at one point, me and Nash got beached <laughs> onto some rocks. You know, learning experience, a practice in patience and compassion and grace. Mm -hmm. To the Keys is never complete without going to Irie Island Eats. It's in Marathon. You have to go there. It is just such cool vibes. Very delicious. The kids, you know, it's like they like some things. Nash is more adventurous than my other two, but this is mainly for mom and dad. And they love the games and they love being there. So it's a cool place. It's all outside, so it's a bit hot, but I don't know. It's so good. I could never come to the Keys and not eat here. an incredible keys trip and then we went home and we got to have a little cousin camp for a day and a half and it was glorious and here's a couple clips I got of that So we fit it all in, we did the beach, we did some glow bowling, and now we're doing a cousin performance. I mean, isn't this what you do with your cousins? Like you perform, you put together, you know, whole ditties for the parents. It was so fun. And what a wonderful beginning of summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we'll see you next time. Love your faces.